Wasabi, you guys. Welcome to Linear Algebra for Computer Science majors uh, or other non-math majors out there. So this course is going to be elementary linear algebra, which means that this whole, this whole linear algebra content is computational. So because this is for non-math majors, this means that there will be no proofs. So it's not proof-based. It's all computational stuff. Basically, in this course lecture, I'm going to mainly just be simplifying everything. So this is just to help uh, those who are comp sci majors. It, you could be any engineers or anyone else. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to simplify this whole class as much as possible uh, and try to keep everything. You still have the main stuff that you'll be learning in, in almost every linear algebra class. It's just it'll be more simplified. You have a better background knowledge in linear algebra. Okay, and and of course we'll we'll also still be learning things that you'll definitely come across in your actual linear algebra class. Now, the reason why I'm teaching this subject first is because this is the most difficult math course you'll be taking as a comp computer science major. Uh, some might argue uh, that calculus is harder, but um, calculus is actually I think it's less hard because it's more fun for computer science majors. So calculus is a lot, it's only hard because it's very heavy algebra and very heavy computational. But I think because it's very puzzling, it, it makes it fun for computer science majors. So it, they won't struggle as much as linear algebra. So that's why linear algebra, I have to... Uh, cover this material first because it is the most difficult, it's the most challenging uh, for all computer science majors. And not only that, there are some uh, math professors that treat this as like just just a math major course and I have to I have to help give some very good background for for those uh, who are like taking linear algebra where you know they have this, Oh, uh, Sheldon Axler textbook of linear algebra done right when it's not really a linear algebra book. It's, it's really, that book is literally just abstract linear algebra. They just don't want to admit it. But, uh, pretty much we will, we will not be doing things like that. This is, this is straight up elementary linear algebra. Okay. Uh, I do want to mention this, even though this is mainly for comp sci majors. Uh, most of the time, this is also not a computer science course. So uh, we won't be programming here. I'm just, this whole course is just, I'm mainly just going to give you like foundational linear algebra math stuff that you do need for uh, other computer science courses that you might take that will require linear algebra. So I'm just helping giving you the foundational uh, math that you need. Okay. Now, the reason why linear algebra is very difficult is because of number one thing. It's, it is very conceptual. The linear algebra is super, super conceptual. Like, it is very conceptual. Uh, and because it's, it's like biology, you know, like calculus is like chemistry and linear algebra is like biology. It's very conceptual. So it's so conceptual, it can become very boring. In my opinion, it's, it's boring. Uh, sometimes the way people teach it. Um, but it's boring because it's, it's, it's that conceptual and, uh, that you can easily lose motivation and, um, you just, you'll, you'll be exhausted. Uh, you'll, you'll just be very bored and, um, yeah, it's, it's very conceptual. So, uh, but don't worry, don't freak out. I'll help you, uh, conquer that. So we'll get through that. Uh, another thing is not only it's conceptual, but it has a lot of vocabulary words. So it's you're going to be juggling a lot with vocabulary words, and I'm going to kind of help you uh, recall and go through that, uh, go through all the key terms and stuff. So uh, and it's very it's that important. You have to know your vocabulary in linear algebra. So. It's like, if you don't remember what this word means, you're going to struggle in future lessons because it, it, it's going to stack up in linear algebra. And you're going to be like, wait, I don't know what a span is. Wait, I don't know what a basis is. And, but don't, don't freak out, though. I'll, 
uh, I'll try my best to simplify everything as possible. And I'll also at the same time try my best to keep it entertaining and uh, more comfortable uh, for learning in this course, okay? So don't freak out. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. I uh, Trust me. Okay. So other than that, that's, that's all it is. Uh, computational wise, it's very easy, uh, or it's it's not that it's not that difficult. Uh, mathematically, it's it's a lot easier than calculus, but uh, the content wise, you know, course wise, uh, it's very difficult when you take it in university because it's very conceptual, and it can be uh, it's it's struggling to juggle every vocabulary and try to keep up when you're unmotivated when it's like boring. Uh, no offense, algebraists, but uh, but don't don't freak out. We'll we'll get over it in this course. So I will mention there are some prerequisite knowledge that you do need to know. Let me write it here. Let me write it in yellow so that you can easily see. Okay. So there are prerequisites that you do need to know. And first off, uh, when when taking this class you do need to be very comfortable with algebra. If you are not very comfortable with algebra, uh, you might want to do that first before taking this uh, linear algebra course. Uh, but don't freak out. It's okay. Uh, I'll list what type of algebra you need to know. So, of course, you must be very comfortable with algebra. Okay? You must be very, very comfortable with algebra. Okay. So, it's... It's a little bit of a big list, but this is just this is what you're supposed to learn in Algebra One and Algebra Two. Uh, so, but if you you know if you forget your material, this is this is all you really need to know. So you don't have to go through all the algebra stuff from your algebra class. Just mainly these topics, and then once you're comfortable knowing what these are, uh, knowing how to do basic arithmetic like order of operations know how to solve linear equations uh, or basic algebra equations, know how to solve systems of equations, know how to graph linear equations. Uh, well, maybe not know how to graph. Like, you don't have to master too much of it. Uh, just know how it works or what it is. Know what these are, and then uh, know how to factor and solve quadratic equations. Okay. So again, like I said, you must be very, very comfortable with uh, with algebra. Okay. Uh, another thing. Let me put this in red. Well, I'll put it in green. Ooh. Okay. Another thing is just you might have to know basic trigonometry. So don't freak out. Just basic trigonometry. Just basic trig. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Just basic trig. Just basic trig. So pretty much what that means is just know how to do Pythagorean theorem. Let me just scoot over here. And then uh, know how to use uh, sine and cosine. So pretty much uh, knowing how to do uh, just basic tricks. So like, what is 60 degrees? What is cosine of 45 degrees? Just basic stuff like this, and then you're good to go. Just basic trigonometry. Not too much in depth. Just basic trig. That's all you need to know. Okay? All right. So, yeah, like like I said, just, just basic trig. Just this. That's it. And then you're good to go. So just a little bit of trigonometry, basic trigonometry, because you will come across this uh, in certain concepts. Uh, but algebra, you must know. <laughs> you must be very, very comfortable with algebra. Uh, other than that, you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so again, don't freak out. Don't freak out. We'll get through this together. Okay, yes, it, it may seem daunting, 
at first, but you'll you'll get more comfortable as we go along. So just don't freak out. Okay, I'll, I'll try my best to sort of simplify everything. Uh, it won't be as bad once we, you know, go with the flow of this, uh, of the materials in this course. Okay. I do want to mention, uh, so for each lecture that I make, for every lecture video that I make, uh, in the description, there will be problem sets. So I will have like a link to a PDF of like problem worksheets that you can practice on. So it will definitely be in the description of the video. Now, speaking about problem sets, uh, when you click on the PDF, it's going to look like this. Uh, you, it will have recall notes. Not everything is going to be in the recall notes because to prevent clutter. Uh, but just I'll only put in like the most forgetful things. So just some definitions, some concepts. Don't freak out. Again, don't freak out. It'll, it'll be easier once you know exactly what these are. Uh, and then the problems will look like this. As you can see, I have stick drift, so this is annoying uh, to work with, but it's okay. This is this is what problems look like. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this controller. But yeah, so this is what the problems will look like. And then uh, for those who have taken intro to computer science, if you want to practice using Python, uh, you can go ahead and uh, practice it with these problems. Uh, if not, you can use MATLAB that to practice with, or C++. Um, but yeah, definitely good to learning how to apply it, uh, solve these problems for programming. Will you be graded in this course? Of course not. <laughs> this is VR chat. Come on, like, what are we? Like, this. of course we're not going to be graded for this. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yep, that's all I have in this paper. Okay, that's it. That's literally the whole entire syllabus here. So, you can do it. Don't freak out. You can make it. You can just... You can you can get through this linear algebra course. No worries. Okay. Let's get through this linear algebra course together. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll see you guys in the lecture video. See ya.